Essential workers from San Miguel Corporation are currently receiving their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine at a site in Mandaluyong. Let's get more details from Dale De Vera. He's reporting live from La Salle, Green Hills. Dale, good afternoon. Could you tell us more about this process uh, regarding SM SMC's vaccination drive? Charles, the vaccination process here at De La Salle, uh, Green Hills will only take you 30 minutes, uh, less than 30 minutes once inside the vaccination site before you receive your first dose. The site here at uh, La Salle, Green Hills is quite big and uh, well ventilated, something that is ideal in uh, the rolling out the vaccination uh, program. At least 500 San Miguel employees are set to receive their first dose today. The company targets to inoculate around 70,000 of its workforce. San Miguel plans to give at least 5,000 doses per day in the coming weeks in partnership with several LGUs. High-ranking government officials were also present this morning to open the program. This includes Vaccine Czar Carlito Galvez, Testing Czar Vince Dizon, Health Secretary Francisco Duque, MMBA Chairman Benher Abalos, and Mandaluyan City Mayor Menchi Abalos. Abalos said at present, Mandaluyong is still far from its target of vaccinating over a million of its daytime population and times three of its nighttime population of around 400,000. The city mayor, however, is positive that once the order of the private sector starts coming in, they will be able to reach their target of inoculating their target population. Meanwhile, Health Secretary Duque said they will be sending doctors and nurses from NCR to Visayas and Mindanao particularly to hospitals with critical occupancy. Vaccine czar Carlito Galvez Amino, uh, meantime assures that more vaccines will be available soon. But for now, bulk will be given to empty centers since the country is raising against time. He compared the Philippines' situation to Brazil, where vaccination was concentrated to the epicenter, resulting to a drop in cases. Galvez also clarified that more vaccines have also been deployed to Visayas and Mindanao. Charles Galvez says at least 11 million doses will be coming into the country this month, with 60% uh, going to Luzon, citing the density of uh, the population and the cases. But Galvez clarified that the figures in vaccine uh, deployment may change depending on the attack rate and the population of the city or the province. Charles? Thank you and stay safe, Dale. That was Dale Devera reporting live from Mandaluyong.